Alright everyone, I'm back with another tutorial, and I really think that this tutorial is probably the most important one that I've made so far. It's, it's been really hard for me to make this. This is my like fifth cut because I'm trying to keep this as short and succinct as possible, but um, there's a number of different ways that we can take care of computer security. It's, it's super important, especially with all the different files that you have on your computer. They're highly sensitive. They're really treasured. You don't want to lose them. Um, but I'm gonna go through my steps and from years of being online and, and more than a decade of experience just hands-on being out there seeing what works just through trial and error this is the these are the best product products that you you need um, to keep your computer safe if you follow these honestly you should have no issues at all with computer security first off you need to start with prevention you've got adblock plus which is an extension for Firefox and for Chrome it stops uh, a lot of ads from running and the reason why this is beneficial is because a lot of the times you don't get a, a, a virus just by downloading uh, something. A lot of times you get it just by surfing the internet. And a lot of times you get it through ads, which a lot of people don't know. Ads can run scripts and such. And a lot of sites just buy, they'll allow you to, to sell your ad, put on put whatever you want, just as long as they can collect the money. So um, I found that ads while they may be safe 70% of the time I, I honestly think a large a large percentage of them are are not safe and they're not good for your computer and that's why I highly recommend Adblock Plus since putting this one extension on different people's computers I found that um, issues with their computers have been dramatically lowered so there's a lot of my friends who won't they won't do what they're supposed to do uh, with, with computer security but just by having this one plug-in they've, they've stopped themselves from a number of different issues so this will give you a huge bump in your internet security just by having adblocker plus uh, if you're using internet explorer I you should switch to uh, either Firefox or Google Chrome or something that's more safe uh, that usually that has th this extension as well the second extension I highly recommend is uh, flash block so just to give you guys an example of flash block here's something that is blocking flash as right now um, I know it's safe because it's a YouTube video all you do is you click and it allows flash block it allows the flash to run so why is that important um, it, it's it's really important because a lot of times you'll go to a site and you're trusting that whatever flash objects they have on the site you're trusting that it's safe that's not the way to go about it though what flash block does and actually I think Firefox is gonna make this a permanent part of their browser soon is it assumes that everything is not safe and it tells you to click to allow what is safe so get flash block just do an extra click and you'll be you'll be safe it's better than going to a website and uh, a bunch of things loading that you don't want to load and having your computer not start so I think it's better than an alternative then I've got two antiviruses here that I recommend we've got Kaspersky and we've got my favorite which is he said Note 32 what's best about Note 32 though is that it does active real-time scanning uh, sometimes I've gone to a site where automatically Note 32 has either um, stopped the file from coming to my computer or it has said uh, this this site is just not safe and it has a large list of sites and such that it maintains that it knows are not safe so it, it helps you browser wise it helps you with files and it scans your computer as you're putting new files on it every time you put a new file on your computer it scans it and makes sure it's safe and it, it doesn't use very many resources in the background so for antiviruses, honestly, there's only two I recommend, Kaspersky and Note32. No what shouldn't you get? Don't get AVG. AVG was good back in 2004, but for whatever the reason, it, I, 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 me using it, I found that it hasn't kept me perfectly safe. Things have gotten in. With, with ESET Note32, things have not gotten in. Um, what else is I would not recommend? I wouldn't recommend getting Norton. I don't think Norton at all uh, keeps you safe. Um, McAfee is okay, but again, even in that sense, uh, it's not perfect. It's it's it has a very high error level. It's it lets a lot of um, viruses in when it shouldn't. It lets a lot of malware in when it shouldn't. It doesn't have the same uh, real-time scanning that ESET Node 32 and Kaspersky have. So there's a lot of different websites you can go to check where what people do is they actually test antiviruses. They take computers, a number of new computers. Uh, that are all the same specifications and then they instantly throw the viruses on there all at once and they see how the antivirus reacts to it and then they list off which ones do the best. ESET and Kaspersky always make it at the top. They're always near the top. Uh, Norton has a very very 
uh, sad rate when it comes with those tests. It has a very, very low uh, ranking from what I've seen. So you can go read up on your own or you can go ahead and get ESED Note 32, which I believe is 20 bucks, or you can get Kaspersky, which I believe is free after rebate. So um, I, I highly recommend those two for your antiviruses. And yes, you do need an antivirus. Um, ESET Note 32 uses very, very little resources in the background, but it is constantly running. So you have to make sure for those really weak computers, um, uh, you have to make sure you have a you have the ability to uh, to run this antivirus. I found with one really old laptop, like I think it was made in o 02 or 03, um, it wasn't it wasn't able to constantly run this. So in those cases, you like if you've got a laptop from 2001 or 2002, you may not be able to to run this. But in every other case, uh, I highly recommend just leaving it on in the background. Um, the next thing is actually really that I really like. Oh, I just have the Google search page. Let's actually go to the website. All right, so. I really like this program because it has a constant list of um, different sites and objects that it continuously updates where it stops your from computer from allowing these either websites in or it stops your com computer from downloading these objects. So it, once a site has been labeled wrong, like bad, and it's been uh, blacklisted, um, these people will go ahead, add it to their list, and all you do is you take this program, you install it, and it it, it just it can uh, it combines with your browser, and uh, it, it just it it goes to work right away. It doesn't it doesn't run in the background. You don't have to keep it open. It's just basically you can think of it as a list of people to watch out for, right? So it it makes it super easy. You just run it and you keep it updated, and it's it, it just it, it does everything it needs to do. So uh, as you can see here. It, prevents the installation of active X um, it blocks spying and tracking cookies six to actions it's basically it stops your from computer from making mistakes that it knows are there it's just a really long list and it just all you do is you update the list and every couple days they've got another new batch of, of sites and objects that you shouldn't have on your computer and it's it's a very very uh, useful way of stopping your computer from making the same mistakes that others have made so you're learning from others mistakes in that sense um, and again you don't have to it doesn't run in the background you install it and you're done it just keep it updated uh, it's not like it's not like an antivirus the last thing that you need is you need some sort of malware protection so um, we've got your browser uh, you we've got your browser fixed we've got um, your antivirus setup, but we need uh, we need some sort of malware cleaning device. So malware bytes, uh, it had there's a pro version that uses live scanning. I I don't recommend you getting that. You don't have to get it. Um, I personally have never needed it. Um, I only use it after the fact. So a lot of times you'll still be going on websites, you'll still be you know on the internet doing whatever you need to do, and sometimes uh, let's say you're playing a flash game on a site that you you don't you don't really know is uh, reputable or not let's say they install some sort of cookie or something on your computer some some sort of trojan uh, that you're unaware of so every week or two once you run malware bytes it'll look for those those problems and I've used countless number of malware type programs to, to you know malware cleaning programs and I found that the vast majority of them suck now the one that's the most popular is Spybot Search and Destroy. I've had a computer ruined actually because of Spybot, and they actually they warn you. They say, "Hey, you should back up everything." Noted. I, I understand that, but no other program that I've had has actually ruined my computer but Spybot. So I I don't like Spybot for that reason. I actually even on their cleanup side, I've tried to clean up computers. Like I've had a friend's computer who had a number of issues. I remember using Spybot and it not being able to fix the issues he had. Then I was told later on about malware bytes and I used malware bytes and it fixed it. Um, I know I've tried adware. Adware is also um it, it it's better than spybot I found, but it's not as good as malware bytes. Um, there's a bunch of uh, internet techies out there who whenever they're giving advice for people to clean up their computer to, if they've got issues they always recommend malware bytes it's one of the most recommended pieces of malware protection out there and the reason why is because it, it just works 
Like, why would you recommend this one seller, this one person, this one store more than any other store? Because people have found that it just works more. That why why would I use this particular product? Because it just seems to work better. So this the number of recommendations for this product product um, the the amount of time that I've put into different programs to see if they've if they've met my personal like standards I found that malware bytes has actually met that standard so when you just to review just to do an overview of everything we've got ad adblocker plus AVP for making sure that we don't have ads that we don't want running in the background we've got flash block where you can click to allow the flash like if you're on YouTube we've got node 32 which I recommend for your internet uh, or not your I'm sorry your uh, computer antivirus or you can use Kaspersky we've got spyware blaster which is just a one-time install that you keep updated that protects you from a bunch of different uh, things that you don't want coming on your computer and you've got malware bytes which every two weeks three weeks all you do is you run it uh, it takes about two or three minutes for the program to finish if you do the quick scan and then it'll clean anything that's there and I've ran this on a number of my friends computers they've had issues but then it when you run it on mine it's, nothing's come up because it's been doing its job so if you if you use this prevention and you use uh, these programs you won't have any issues with internet security um, and with computer security so um, I'm Immortal Phoenix uh, I'll try to keep this updated if I find that a few of these programs are out of date or they're slacking and there's better programs out there I'll go ahead and uh, put those up for you but for now this is what you need for internet security. If you want to keep your file safe, you use Adblocker Plus, use Flashblock, use Node32, Spyware Blaster, and Malware Bytes. And with this combination, I've been computer problem free for years, like literally years. And the last time I've had any sort of issue, I think, was in ba back in 2008, where I was using Spy uh, uh, what's it called? Um, Spybot Search and Destroy. So Spybot I, really let me down uh, in that case. And uh, I was using different antiviruses too. Um, on a final note, since I use a hardware firewall in my router, um, I don't need a firewall because I already have a hard hardware firewall. If you don't use a router uh, or, or uh, to connect to uh, your internet, like you don't have a wireless router or you don't have some other router, then... What you you do need a firewall, and I, I I don't suggest Windows firewall at all. It's horrible. Um, if you do need a firewall, the best firewall out there is Komodo. C O M O D O. Uh, Komodo makes the best firewalls, and it's a software firewall. It it it'll help you out a lot because you've got all sorts of doors that lead to the internet, um, and it closes down a lot of those doors. If again, if you've got if you're on some sort of wireless router or some other router. You, you already have that set up and you don't need any sort of software but if you don't and you're just directly connected to a modem then what you need to do is get yourself a firewall and again like I said I recommend Komodo um, your ISP may already have a firewall on your uh, on your computer if you want to double check if that's the case you can go to shields up if you just google shields up that will check your ports and see if you're um, if you're protected or not so just google shields up um, I believe it's on grisoft.com and uh, it'll check if your ports are open if you're properly silencing your computer or not but yeah that's long enough I know this has been a bit long but it's again all of my videos are trying to be thorough even if they take a couple more minutes I want to give you guys uh, the full perspective of every, everything you've got your browser protection with adblock plus you've got flash block node 32 or Kaspersky you've got spyro blaster malware bytes and for those of you who are directly connected to your modem you should get yourselves a software uh, firewall which I recommend Komodo. Alright thanks guys and I'll see you guys in another tutorial. Bye!